Writing in a diary is going to be a really strange experience for someone like me. Not only because I've never written anything before, but also because it seems to me that later on neither I nor anyone else will be interested in the chatterings of a 13-year-old schoolgirl. The thing is, nobody would believe that I'm alone in the world. is a champion sportsman, don't you know? He's so old. He likes to keep himself trim, unlike some people I could mention. <laughs> you don't have to sleep with him. <laughs> and he snores. Good morning, Mr. Tussle. Good morning, everybody. How's the rib, Mrs. Oh, very painful, Mr. Tussle. Oh, she suddenly did exercises to get rid of her fat bottom, I suppose. Just, just here. <laughs> Mr. Dussel is a trained medic, Putin. We're, uh, we're lucky to have another expert on the premises. That's why my friend Mr. Frank hired me. Think that he should see us through the winter? <laughs> oh! I wish he didn't have to sell spices. Why can't you have chosen something nice, like sweets? In wartime, Anne, spices are more essential than ever. Preserve meat and to flavor its substitutes. And, and so is pectin for making jam at home. She knows that, Mr. Dussel. It was only a joke. Wow. Mother Frank, the children's advocate. It must be hard for Father trying to run a business from up here, especially with his arthritis. Today, there was an important meeting. The negotiations were long and boring. Mr. Kleiman and Mr. Kugler did their best for us, but it turned out to be more serious than we expected. The building's being sold. And the new owner's coming this afternoon to look it over. Oh, my God. sounds of breathing stopped. Eight hearts pounded. Footsteps on the stairs, then a rattling on the bookcase. He's so close. This moment is indescribable. Stay here. 